minutes dictate that I be absolutely focused, cogent, and on target today because undoubtedly we are entering a phase in human civilization that is one of the most dangerous, if not the most dangerous, we have ever faced as a society. We are going to be here for the next two hours as we are every Sunday evening, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. I'm back, of course, tomorrow, Lord willing, 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern for the three-hour weekday transmission. Okay, obviously on the radar today, QE infinity, hyperinflation. Another big ratings agency now lowers. We were AAA, AA, now A minus for the US dollar. Federal Reserve running the Republic into the ground, a foreign banking cartel that has captured this nation to a great extent. They don't have full control, but they've got control over monetary and uh, over most of the federal government and the state government. So we've got that information coming up. and. Obviously, when you get ready for the big collapse, not this ongoing slide, what do globalists do? They start big wars. That's 101 of geopolitical imperial operations. We are now entering that with the whole situation in the Middle East going up in flames, the dead ambassador, the political the hyping of all this, Obama's uh, UN ambassador making utterly ridiculous statements today that this was not a coordinated attack on the embassy in Libya. That's like saying the sun didn't come up this morning. Uh, and all the political back and forth that's happening with that, all of it pales in significance, quite frankly, because we can handle financial degradation. We can handle Muslims burning down you know, cities. What we cannot handle is a nuclear war with Russia or China and many top generals, many top analysts, are on record saying this could easily get out of hand and turn into a World War III scenario. The world's much more dangerous than it was at the height of the so-called Cold War. That's not just Alex Jones saying that, that's the big Brzezinski, that's people like Webster Tarpley, that's countless others. The magnitude of what we're facing, now you remember uh, two months ago, and the videos and articles went viral, I, I said the preparations are being made for martial law in late October, early September. And you heard the police officers call in, break down crying and saying, yeah, we've been told, prepare for total breakdown, prepare to call in Air Force airstrikes on the American people, prepare to, you know, to totally cordon and round people up, military speaking out, army manuals publicly released for re-education camps. The government is running around like a chicken with their head cut off right out here at the Austin airport, former SAC base. They've leased areas all around it with the military. Every city is the same, every major key uh, strategic city. They're digging in more than they did at the height of the Cold War in the 50s, 60s, 70s, okay? They're running around like it's the end of the world. Now I've said, hey, 2012, you know, I don't believe in the Mayan stuff, that's all a bunch of bull. But the globalists, they believe in stuff like that. They're a bunch of occultist lunatics. All I can tell you is my family's getting ready. This is real. I mean, I've told my crew out there, this isn't a game. They know it's not a game. Let me tell you, this is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. What our ancestors faced at the start of World War I and World War II, if this thing kicks off, will look like a walk in the park. And I'm talking to high level generals, former top spies, you name it, they're scared. They're scared. Okay, this is serious. We're gonna be back in 60 seconds, so I'm gonna lay it all out. Stay with us. Alex Jones here with a message that could revolutionize health in this country. Going back about a year and a half ago, I began to learn about the incredible health effects of Longevity products. Aaron Dykes lost 92 pounds. We're gonna show you some before and afters. Aaron, break down what happened, your story. I've worked really hard with diet and exercise to try to lose weight, but I just didn't get the results, it just didn't happen. Then I saw what you were doing with InfoWarsTeam.com. 
I wasn't even trying to lose weight, but I got it because I wanted to feel better energy. I wanted that nutrition. Didn't even understand how that could kickstart my own weight loss goals, but the products did that for me. I found myself suddenly losing weight, more energetic, wanting to exercise, wanting to eat the right foods. And they don't even advertise it as weight loss. I want to challenge our radio listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com, sign up as a distributor, and get wholesale pricing discounts at InfoWarsTeam.com. I don't know how I get people to pay attention, I mean really pay attention, to just how much danger this world is in right now, just how hardcore this corporate banking world government is and just how sinister they are. They are playing civilizations, nations, groups off against each other. And that is the important thing to know and understand. Again, thank you for joining us on the 16th day of September 2012. I am your host, Alex Jones. I have, of course, the syndicated broadcast carried by XM on 166 weekdays from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern on over 115 AM and FM affiliates. And then we also come back Sundays for the Sunday transmission, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, 5 to 7 Eastern, 2 to 4 Pacific, 3 to 5 Mountain. We are broadcasting worldwide on global shortwave WWCR and of course on several satellite systems, as well as the audio streams at infowars.com and prisonplanet.tv. Okay, you know about the Middle East going up in flames. You know about U.S. troops getting killed all over the Middle East and Africa and Central Asia, Afghanistan, Pakistan. You know about uh, the uh, embassy being attacked in Benghazi and the U.S. ambassador being killed. You know about the announcement by the private Federal Reserve of quantitative easing unlimited or quantitative e easing infinity. Obviously, most of you uh, know about the massive domestic arms buildup by the federal government against the American people, the 1.4 billion bullets the last year, the giant armored vehicles by the hundreds ordered every few months, the mobile armored pillboxes, the staging of military supplies, including treaded tanks in every major U.S. city by the thousands uh, spread out across the United States. This is a buildup for World War III. But not the type of uh, war our daddies or granddaddies fought. This is a globalist, banker-directed war against the nation states so they can have us basically battle it out, all controlled and run by the very same global banking system. They brag about this, by the way. They write books about it. They put out policy papers. It's not hidden. They just think you're so stupid and only watch you know, the television news programs and that you'll never even understand it. That's their arrogance and that may be their undoing, let's hope. Now we do have Dr. Steve Pachinik, who is the person who helped co-write many of Tom Clancy's books. He is the person uh, that the, the, the character uh, of Mr. Ryan is based on from Patriot Games. And I'm not going to get into his whole bio, but he's overthrown governments, run assassination squads all over the world, uh, and is a psychiatrist, and among other things. Uh, and uh, we have him on occasionally, as you know. I, he'd been talking to me the last few days quite a bit, and, and what shocked me is I called up Webster Tarpley, Dr. Tarpley, who also lives there in D.C. and um, has his ear to the ground. And uh, the, the two men basically told me pretty much the same thing, which uh, was what I had also basically from the research understood. So they're going to be joining us. Coming up in about 20 minutes, Dr. Pachenik's going to join us. And then we're going to uh, have Dr. Tarpley on after that to give us his perspective on all this. But you're not going to get just talking points here and mindlessness. So if you're a new listener and you want to really know what's going on in the world, you're going to get it here, okay? As close as you're going to get to it. Not because I'm that smart. The mainline system lies to you on purpose, okay? It's, it's not hard to actually know what's going on if you study this stuff from a historical perspective and actually follow the continuum of developments. And read the memoirs and, and, uh, of, of globalists and spies and foreign memoirs and, and, and research. Let me just boil it down to you very, very simply. 
There are six global banks that are above the law that have created 1,500 trillion plus in global derivatives just based in the dollar. Fraudulent counterfeit money. They've sold it to the Russians, the Chinese, the Americans, to your police pension fund, to the school pension fund, to the private pension funds, everything. It infects everything by design. They have gotten all the governments with their operatives that they've worked for decades to get into place, signing us onto their debt, and the media tells us that it's our debt, when over 90% of it is not even national debt or personal debt. It's their debt. It's fake derivatives. It's a black hole of fraud. But when they get you up to the point of bankrupting the world and bringing in a global depression, they have to be in the position of posing as the saviors during the, the global reorganization like the Marshall Plan after Europe was wrecked. And it's actually the same corporation that's at the top of it, the OECD. They have to be able to reorganize everything after they collapse it. And to do that, they have to have a big war going on because they know now that you know the Federal Reserve is private and part of a foreign European banking cartel. They know now that you're starting to wake up, as Brzezinski just wrote in his book that came out this year, and that the elite are in trouble. So they've always run al-Qaeda. They created them. They've always run them. I told you they put them in Libya. They put them in Syria. They put them in Africa. And I told you they'd put AFRICOM in, in Africa and then have their operatives. Al-Qaeda works for these banks. And our troops are trained in, in order to train them and give them weapons. That's all on record, hiding in plain view. And they dump them out to murder Christians, other Muslims, you name it, destroy infrastructure. So the globalists can then come in and carpet bomb the country, thinking you're so stupid you won't remember that just a year and a half ago they put them in charge in Libya. That's when the whole thing started. And eight months ago started this new war against Assad in Syria. By the way... Uh, Dr. Pachinik was actually arrested by Assad's father. I mean, that's how, how much globetrotting he's done, but we'll, we'll get his take on this whole situation when he comes up here in about 15 minutes. The point is, is that they are gearing up for a giant war with Iran and beyond, not just as an October surprise to control the election or carterize uh, Obama, at the top, it's the same power group. Sure, they've got political arms that fight with each other. And, and for the mid-level operatives who think they're at the top, they think there's different camps. But at the very top, they've got the, a, 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 a focused group pushing this that wants to cause giant regional wars bordering on third world war or, or major world war to re-engineer global society and bring in a total police state that's already in place, but they want to fully roll it out. Face scanning to buy and sell, total control, uh, checkpoints at the end of your street. This has all been geared up. You're the target. Remember I told you 10 years ago, Al-Qaeda works for the globalists. They're going to get you to give up your rights in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda. Then they're going to tell you that domestic groups are the new terrorists. Now they've said gun owners, libertarians, returning veterans, constitutionalists, the old-fashioned family who aren't the new normal, we are the bad guys. That's in all the law enforcement manuals, Homeland Security, the police have sent us, that's made national news. You've seen that in the news, you know that. This is all for you. This is a global banking cartel getting nations to get into fights with each other so that everybody goes into deeper debt and so we politically don't understand how we've been economically conquered. Now notice, we said that these big wars would start with civil unrest and with Al-Qaeda they put in all these countries. When the global acceleration of dollar devaluation and other currency devaluation, because they're all pegged to the dollar, whenever that started. And it's been gradual, but now it's reached an acceleration point. So there's no doubt, ladies and gentlemen, and not just my intellectual acumen, my spidey sense, my sixth sense, I know yours as well, has gone past the point of getting chills over this. Now I'm locked in. Well, I just got one right there. Locked in, focused, it's game time, okay? Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Unless we get the word out about what's really happening, we're probably gonna have World War III and a global depression that'll make the Great Depression look like a piece of cake. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. There are times in history when you see governments lining up on different sides of the battle line. And that's happening right now.
because the global banking cartel has created a Ponzi scheme that if they don't get governments to sign on to, they're all going to go to jail. Now, they tell us, hey, sign on to the Ponzi scheme or everything will collapse. But mathematically, mathematically, by many orders of power, it's impossible to ever get out of a collapse if, this is very, very important, if we don't decouple ourselves from the derivatives fraud. These people have taken the world over through this fraud. And the globalists are absolutely opportunistic. They don't serve anything but raw power. What do I serve? I have people ask me that all the time. Major media executives, generals, famous spies. Like, who are you really working for? You know, there's nobody out there who doesn't work for somebody. Really? I don't like bullies. I don't like losing my liberty. I don't like losing my freedom. I don't like being a slave. I don't like seeing my republic destroyed. I'm upset by gangs of lesser men getting together and taking over government and sucking off of me. I really do believe in a level playing field. I really do believe in free association. That's not old fashioned. That's not being a romantic. We're in this situation because we stopped being romantics who stood up for ideas of real freedom. We got lazy and stupid. Now we've got a bunch of kleptocratic elites getting ready to bring us into a major war. There's a reason there hadn't been a world war since World War II. It's called hydrogen bombs. It's called bioweapons. But the globalists have all gotten into eugenics and kind of hyped themselves up that, oh, well, we'll use the national security state to get total power out of this coming crisis. No, you're going to end up destroying our civilization, and I'm sick of you. I listen to talk radio as people try to understand what's happening. We told you they put al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria and all over Africa and Sudan. We told you, ladies and gentlemen, our troops are in Afghanistan to grow 93% of world opium was less than 10% before the liberation 10 years ago. We told you they're running Al-Qaeda, and now it's been in the LA Times, the New York Times, and the CFR saying we need Al-Qaeda, and Al-Qaeda are good guys, and then Al-Qaeda starts killing US troops all over the world, and goes and attacks an embassy, and was able to get through, and then Al-Qaeda brags, we know your security procedures. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Pachinik is gonna come on the show. Dr. Pachinik, when he was on months ago, said he confronted Admiral Mullen at the Council on Foreign Relations. Turns out later that came out in the news. And Mullen came out and said, don't blame the U.S. when Israel hits Iran. What do you think all this is about? Pachinik says it was Israel and elements of the Pentagon that hit that facility. You just think Al-Qaeda, who they put in Libya and Syria and, and in Pakistan, just did this on their own? They work for the globalist, period. And you've got Obama out there running around telling everybody that, oh, everything's fine now. And, oh, no, it wasn't coordinated. It wasn't organized. This is an October surprise to carterize Obama. But it's bigger than Romney. Understand that. This is very sophisticated because there's people within the Obama administration that are involved at this just as much as people in the Republican power structure. Because at the top of the pyramid, it's the same people. That's even what most of their high-level operatives don't understand about this system. They're planning what PNAC wrote, what Dick Cheney wrote back in September 20th of 2000 in Rebuilding America's Defenses. Look it up. It's public that they would cause a clash of civilizations by funding and radicalizing Muslims and then letting them attack. When, when meanwhile, the police aren't training to fight radicalized Muslims, folks. They're training to take your guns and take you to re-education camp because you're a red-blooded American. You're the target. And I hear these people dripping with, with salivating enjoyment on talk radio about Obama blew it. It's over for him. Yeah, Al-Qaeda, you know, Obama tried to say they were our friends, but look, he's getting it. This was the policy under Brzezinski. This was the policy under Carter, the policy under Reagan, the policy under Bush 41. On and on and on. It's the policy under George W., under Obama. They're puppets. The whole world is a stage, each of us players upon it. Well, not me, not me, man. I'm not playing part in your World War III stage. 
We're in that same PNAC document, Rebuilding America's Defenses, we just showed on screen if you're watching us at PrisonPlanet.tv, if you're a radio listener watching us online, the TV side of this. You can go read it where, where they go on to say we need to legitimize the use of bioweapons to wipe out certain races. We need the media to legitimize that use. These are mad men. And they say we're mad because we don't want to engage in things like that. They also say they're history's actors and that, and that what we say and do doesn't matter. They'll decide reality and change what reality is day to day. The only people starting to change reality are the ruling class who've lost touch with it. Just like Nero and Caligula and Hitler and so many others, you guys are smoking your own dope. You guys are drinking your own Kool-Aid. You people are crazy. You always bite off more than you can chew because you BS people so much, you start losing touch with what's reality. You destroy the Bill of Rights and Constitution. You create a surveillance state pointed at the people because you want to secure the country you took over as the heart of your global empire, your homeland. The pit you dig for us is the one you're going to fall into. You get rid of due process. You get rid of, of, of separations of powers. You allow the nastiest people in the system to go to the fore. That's why there's always a race to the bottom once evil is allowed in. So I'm going to state it for you very, very simply here and succinctly, okay? The Federal Reserve said we'll never do quantitative easing three. That would cause hyperinflation. Instead, they've announced unlimited quantitative easing, but not just to the people. The people don't get any of this money. It all goes to mega offshore banks to buy their bad derivatives. And then the media tells you you're in debt because it's your debt when almost none of it is your debt because you don't have economic understanding. The average political know-it-all is like Miss Teen USA who couldn't even talk. We're going to play a clip of her later. You think that woman's a moron? You're a moron when you try geopolitical analysis because you're not taught a real system on the news. They give you one-dimensional or two-dimensional at most systems. When this thing is three-dimensional chess on so many other levels. It's like playing 100 games of chess at the same time, okay? You only can have a historical understanding to be able to even war game this because humans act the same over and over again. That's the only way to understand this. Here's the deal. Here's the news. Al-Qaeda in Yemen urges Muslims to kill U.S. diplomats over film. The film has nothing to do with it. It's just an excuse. Military Afghan inside attacks kill four U.S. troops. Sudan rejects U.S. requests to send Marines to guard embassies. NATO copter destroyed by Taliban at Bagram Air Base. Americans killed in Libya was on intel mission to track weapons. What, the 10,000 missiles that Al-Qaeda got that our government gave them? Armada of British naval power massing in the Gulf as Israel prepares to strike Iran, London Telegraph. Notice all this is happening. They're devaluing the currency globally. It's the world reserve currency, the dollar. That causes people in third world countries to start starving to death, accelerating the riot. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.